Hi there, my dear psychopaths, and uh, hello for everybody else, and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences, and today I'm gonna learn something about Bill Burr losing your shit, marriage, etc, etc. It will be interesting to know, because I like Bill Burr a lot, I like his way of speaking, his way of comedy, his charismatic traits, and I want to learn English through this, because I have been learning English for two years, and I want to learn it and move to America. America in one day. That's why I do videos on this channel. I want to learn English and uh, improve it. And uh, maybe something I will understand, something will not. Um, you can help it through commenting in the comment section below. Thank you a lot for it. And let's start it. Uh, by the way, you can subscribe to this channel if you like it and like it if you like it too. And let's start it together. This way. So I've been trying to learn, uh, learn how to fix shit around the house. That's what's filling up all this time. It will be without subtitles. Oh, Jesus, it will be a nice challenge. Just being sober. That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. That's oh, fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. You know? She's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things, it's that you get frustrated, you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. I just don't think it's a good idea. You know, you're a comedian, you should tell jokes, he's a plumber, he should plumb, right? <laughs> trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something, right? Everybody does that. You buy, right? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, yes. Sometimes you really, you really get this emotion of, oh Jesus, I don't know how to fix it, and, but I want to fix it. And uh, when you can't find the way how technologically to repair something, you feel kind of, oh Jesus, I want it. I started and it is kind of a mindset, I think. And uh, right now I don't feel so. I don't feel so like I used to. You buy something at Ikea, you get halfway through putting it together, you're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Well, honey, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Why? Well, you want to put it together? You want to... Well, then you put it together. You put together this fucking part of the board piece of fucking shit. These instructions make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, go to your mother's. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? Not the part about how I pay all the fucking bills, right? How was that uncalled for? How was that uncalled for? I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. I am working on it. I am working on it, all right? <laughs> look, look, you think I want to be this guy? You think I want to be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am, this is who I became, all right? I'm working through the shit. You didn't have to speak, well, you do shit too, okay? You do shit too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's! Nice work, nice really, like, comedy work. Acting. I want to do this too. <laughs> That's brutal. I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know. I'm sick of women trying to... F Every girl I ever date's always trying to fix me. It gets annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. <laughs> right? What is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. Okay? I've had it. I'm working. I'm trying. You go down and you get this Mr. Even Keeled all the time with his little fucking sport coat, right? I don't understand it fully because... Uh, but I'm glad that I can understand it even without subtitles. You, you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home. How are you? Well, traffic was crazy. Almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, always a classic. Always a classic. Gulliver's Travels. That's the guy you want, straight across the board? Even in the bedroom, right? 
always making love to you, missionary style. I love you, your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> Never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows, you fucking psycho, right? He said that uh, when uh, he sleeps with his uh, girlfriend, he sometimes uh, feels the lips of her hair because she do actions, movements on on this bed. <laughs> ah, she's right. She's always right. I do, I gotta work on it. I hate having a temper, you know? I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped, you know? My dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> Bitchy about marriage. Nice, nice phrase. There is. He'd see some broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy. Give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't want the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> 13 goddamn years of this shit. Are you? Loosey left, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the flyers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> That was one of his catchphrases. How can he la how can he scream and yell and l be so loud in his stand up and not to be with uh, with harming his throat, soaring his throat? How? Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating. I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know, where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know, <laughs> when did they stop making those angels? who just knew it had nothing to do with them. They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? I don't understand it fully. Eh? What a luxury, right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? I'm out here making decisions. Take these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. Give me a goddamn drink. <laughs> Then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you get to sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. <laughs> Newborn baby. You know, you can't. Even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> it starts fading off. <laughs> you start thinking about your own life, right? Why did I take Nebraska given 28? The fuck is wrong with me? It's an awaken. All of a sudden, her voice goes, it goes up, right? You're like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Eh, hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know. halftime adjustments, uh, got nothing. <laughs> no. I didn't wanna make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man, but you know, I, I understand him though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? Kid oh, Jesus. <laughs> and uh, I understand that maybe in one day I... 
I will be married, but I I don't think that uh, marriage and weddings is for me because I want to live alone. I like to live alone. I like to live uh, and sometimes I like to communicate with other people. I don't like like uh, to be loner and only live without society. I like to live alone in silence. I love silence. I need someone who makes silence. It's coming up to the walk. You're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> it's brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, pre-chicken soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. The pressure of that, feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you, every three, four days, he would just snap, just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass the salt? Now ah, you fucking bitch, how the fuck am I getting married for this bullshit? <laughs> Boom, he'd slam the door, have the car in third gear by the time he got it to the end of the driveway. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, hmm. <laughs> man, he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. With what is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, he'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it! <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll be a good dad, though. <laughs> you know? I do. <laughs> nice, nice ending. Like, yes, maybe he will be a nice dad. At least he will be a nice granddad, because uh, when he can tell good stories to his children, nice fairy tales tonight, like uh, someone goes to sleep and he tells stories, he tells jokes, and then uh, and then this child will have some of the trans trans dreams, psycho dreams and kind of like this so hilarious i like him a lot i like bill burr i like to watch him and to, to see this i i'm glad about myself by the way that i understood not fully but 85 percent of his speaking i understood that he was speaking about like marriage life about life with girlfriend about life uh, in family that uh, they uh, when when you live in family, you feel uh, you feel really uh, no. It is about uh, making things, about repairing. That when you repair something, you sometimes need to be angry or temper to do this because it is the way how it works. And he talked about it, and um, he talked about it. He talked yes, he told about. It. Talk, talk, I forgot what's... Okay, it is verb, verb forms. And uh, he also said about his father, that his father has temper too. He was with five children too, till the age of 33. And uh, he did uh, many of uh, things with uh, acting different ways, like this way, like... Uh, this type he was doing gestures they are funny too yes uh, how he does gestures and his acting of temper is nice amazing he speaks his with the soul it thank you a lot see you next time improve cell daily and always try to improve try to find ways to improve yourself and uh, always explore new things in this world this is a phenomenal world and you are phenomenal thank you for having me See you next time. Bye-bye.